Okay, let's let's start inverse Laplace transform. As you talked about it, uh, your function f of t is given. Then we can send that function into the other world, which is Laplace transform world, which is which is noted by capital F of s, right? So that we can do backward. That is like final step to find the solution of the first equation. So like if you have capital F of s, s then we can find the original function f of t in this world, which called the inverse Laplace transform. And we notate by this way, inverse Laplace transform of capital F of s equal to f of t, okay? Since your um, Laplace transform is linear, uh, linear property, then we can say inverse, inverse Laplace transform also has the inverse, okay? And we will, I'm gonna give you one example which is concerned with this one uh, in example, uh, uh, example 12, okay? So let me give you one example how we can find Laplace, uh, inverse Laplace transform. As I told you, we are not going to do any calculation, but we're going to use the uh, Laplace transform table, okay? Here we go. So look at this guy, number 11. So did you ever find like something similar with this one on your table? Can you please put your table on your side? Then you can check it, okay? So like, you know, for this video, let me show you my Laplace transform chart. Look at that. Uh, first couple of things not match with that, but you can easily find it is matched with uh, number 11. Can you see it? It's S minus A to the N plus one and then back to here, okay? When you compare with problem A and your N must be two, then you must have like two on your numerate. Does it make sense? So and keep that in mind, n is two and your a is one, then it will be t to the n times e to the a t four. Okay. So let me come back. So this one. Since we know um, from table number 11, Laplace transform of t to the n times e to the a t is equal to um, n factorial over s minus, right? Just compare, okay? Then, like if your n is two, then this form must be two factorial, which is one, uh, which is two, then s minus a cubed, right? And for this case, n is two and a is one, right? Then we can write like this way. Inverse Laplace transform of the given function f of s is equal to, um, well, like this one can be written by two, factorial over s minus one cubed, and then we need two as well to make it four. Okay, it is equal to inverse Laplace transform because this is linearity, and two factorial over n my, uh, s minus one cubed, right? And that is equal to two times t square and e to the one t, that's it. This is the way to find inverse Laplace transform. Okay, this is really important uh, practice because like whenever you use the Laplace transform to solve the differential equation, the very last step is always finding inverse Laplace transform, okay? So what about part B? It is the same thing, but try to look at the uh, table, okay? Which is matched with that. Um, like don't look at your numerator because like, you know, it will be separated, okay? But denominator is S squared minus four. So I believe, you know, number seven and, and eight, these are the matching one, okay? So let me come back. Here we go. So let me split this one with two separate fractions, like four is two square, right? And two S and minus, three over s squared minus two squared as well.
to match with uh, uh, table number seven and eight. And the first part must be just you have like S only, right? And this can be written by two times S over S squared minus two squared. And second part, since there's no S, it must belong to number seven. Then it must be um, just two on your top. This one, right? Which means we need uh, um, three over two, right? Just like a number play, right? And then, like as I told you, this guy is exactly table number eight, and this guy is table number nine, number seven. Okay, did I mention about the number? Okay, there we go. Then, okay, let's do it. Okay, inverse Laplace transform of given function is equal to two times inverse Laplace transform of s over s square minus two square minus three half inverse Laplace transform of one over, I mean, two over s square minus two square, right? Which is equal to two times hypercosine of two t, okay, and minus three over two hypersine of two t. That's it. But keep that in mind. This one, like to find the inverse uh, Laplace transform, there's no other way but you have to use the um, like Laplace transform table. Okay.